Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Passion. Today we're going to decorate a sari. Please welcome to Home Garden and Passion. So I have this sequin trim. I'm going to take out the sequin from the trim and then I will put it on the sari to decorate. I'm going to be using the sequin from the trim and I will use on top of it some seed beads and I'm hoping for this to come out to be a beautiful looking sari as you can see I have done pretty much all of it just few decorations I have left to show you how it turned out and this color is chocolate color and this trim is silver and I got the trim from Walmart but later they didn't have the trim anymore at the bottom I used a design from my imagination and then I put some sequin all over the sari as you can see and this is very good for nighttime wearing in a club or a party because the sequin will be like really glittery and it has uh, beautiful beads so the beads and sequin together it makes so awesome so the design is circle and it's just out of imagination and the design has like uh, six or seven sequin and on top of each sequin there are beads and made it like a circle and the beads and sequin are glued with the glitter dimensional fabric paint and now I have another form of design which doesn't have the circle outer circle it just has five sequin in it and each sequin has some beads on top of it and that one also looks good and then there another variation which has three circles and each circles have about five six sequin and beads on it and the bottom one is the long design which also with the sequin and bead on the top and it has some rhinestone as well so it gives some rhinestone to that and the entire sari has drops of sequin as like stars on the, the stars in the sky so this is how the sari is and this section is the pallu section pallu section has the heavy design so now i'm going to show you some of the designs so you know how to do it when you decorate a sari or any other germans anything that you wish to decorate be sure to put a piece of cloth at the bottom because if you don't when you put the glitter dimensional fabric paint it will be stuck with your bottom fabric so use a piece of cloth which you will not use in general just something that you wouldn't mind getting it dirty you use that and then on top of that you put the fabric that you want to decorate and then lay it down and use clips to secure it tightly that way the fabric will not move and now you're all set to decorate the fabric now remember this is paint slash glue so it does glue the fabric the top fabric to the bottom and we're using a seafoam fabric so it really does glue and really does bleed through the fabric so the the one we use just the dot those are just a dot one one flower and the one we're using too many the on the circle those are just we making about seven or eight sequin in a circle so it was basically out of imagination so I didn't have any specific numbers 
you create on through your imagination so now I'm going to be putting some glitter dimensional fabric paint and my sequin and white beads so this is with the paint so you be sure to set your area such a way that you will not be disturbing anything for next three hours once I do the decoration or once you do the decoration you will not be disturbing it for about three hours so I have my sequin I'm going to put my beads and the sequin so first goes the sequin and the beads goes on top of it and in the center I put some rhinestone as well the bottom one where I decorated the bottom of the sari there I added big big rhinestone so I dropped about six and seven draw and I'm going to add this beautiful sequin these sequins have a name called Jacorian crystal so these are Jacorian crystal and same name for the rhinestone as well Jacorian crystal and the beads are seed beads silver color Now I'm going round and round and this uh, each round I have about as the rounds getting bigger I have about 10 drops of glitter dimensional fabric paint and then I have about 10 sequin and on top of that 10 seed beads. The reason for putting the seed beads is that they increase the glamour for the sequin. The sequin on top have little bit of paint and on that paint if we drop a seed bead it increases the actually glare of the sequin many many folds. So, Using the seed bead is really a good idea on top of the sequin. Now this, uh, doing this way, the design is way better. It's better than stitching the sequin because stitching the sequin is really hard work and then also the stitches come out. So I'm going here the sideways. I'm going to just put the sideway. I have three dots on the sideway. So I'm going to put the sideways three dots. And the inside, the first one was one, and then about six, and then about ten. And I'm putting on the sideways three, three. And that's also gonna be four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, probably ten or twelve. So this is sort of like from imagination, not really so much calculated. And these things are done just for the purpose of sort of like meditation. And this is your arts and crafts meditation and really helps really calms the mind down so doing this sort of meditation is sort of easier than doing the sitting and not thinking anything because when you're doing this you're basically you know, lost into the process but when you're sitting and thinking about something or trying not to think about something that is just so hard so this is kind of better way to do meditation and this is the design I have used from that paper that design I have used to draw so as you can see 
this uh, if you make a little mistake don't worry about it because when it dries it will look really good little mistake really doesn't count that much so you shouldn't worry about uh, very little mistake but if it's a huge mistake and you must correct it then you take a wet piece of cloth and then you wipe it off and when you wipe it off be sure to wipe it off very nicely so only thing will be left is some glittery spots but that will just smear it all around the fabric so it will look like glittery fabric instead of having a huge mistake so that way you can do it and it's really nice so this is very calming and soothing activity calming and soothing for the brain so you can do this one as your evening meditation and you can even do with the meditation music or prayer because this is really soothing and to do one sari takes about a week because you have to do little section at a time and you need the time to let it dry about three hours and after it dries then you have to gently pull it out from the bottom fabric because it will be stuck with the bottom fabric so you need to gently pull it out from the bottom fabric now this flower is done so this how I did about 10 or 12 flowers at a time take an hour or so and then I would just let it dry and then I will work on the section next day that way you sort of have like your meditation for one or two hours and this is very very focus because you need to focus in meditation you need to focus this is very focused so it's very very soothing and calming for the mind and heart so I take up something like this decorating your dresses or anything that you wish you can do the same technique for the curtains and make curtains like this and I'll show you one because I have done some curtains and have done this kind of decoration on sear this is pretty much like sear fabric the siphon so you can do it in sear fabric and make your curtains like this all you need to do is just let it dry once it done and you decide first draw decide and how many flowers you're going to make so at a time you make certain amount of flowers let it dry you can make it but be sure to draw them ahead of time so you know what's the gap you're giving like between each flower so if the flowers are big you need to give a little bit bigger gap the flowers are little then you can do close up together that's, that's really good now first I will put the sequin and then I will put the beads on top. So I'm almost like almost done. So it need to take a little bit more time. Now you can only do this if you are into it. If you like arts and crafts and this kind of things, then you can do that. You can make so many things with it. You can make the curtains, you can make cushion cover, you can make bed seat. And remember if the bed seat or pillowcases you put this, just be sure just put in the edge, not the bed seat portion where you sleep. So you put it on the sides like the hanging part of the bed seat. So that way it look good also you don't have to sleep on top of it I'm sure it may not be very comfortable to sleep on top of this but since this is just a dress and dresses you can put this kind of so you keep the gap according to your wish like how 
close you want your sequin or how far that you want your sequin you keep the gaps according to your desire then now I'm going to put some seed beads now I put the seed beads on top of the sari or the fabric itself but I wouldn't advise that I would advise to put it on top of the little plate because that way you will not get any stain on the sari because if you don't put it on a plate you might get any stain on the sari as you go picking up the seed beads that might create a stain since this is really permanent so being permanent it will not get washed off so whatever you need to wash it you have to wash it when it's wet and as I told you have a wet piece of towel with you when you're making the design you can just wipe it off and go away and just smear everything to throughout the fabric after you wipe it down so that way what happens is that the fabric will be glittery but it will not look like it there was a mistake done here i'm putting little bit of more uh, glitter dimension and fabric paint to add the beads just to be sure that the beads will stay on and uh, seed beads does tend to stay on better than the bigger beads because the bigger beads might need more paint to stay on now remember when you do some decoration like this you're not going to wash it by hand you will wash it you're going to wash it by hand you're not going to wash it in washer and dryer so always do a hand wash not wash and dry just hang it to dry and hand wash it gentle wash. Now this is siphon you don't need to rinse it just you don't need to wring it you need to just wash it with water and hang it a little bit mild soap but do not wring it and do not put it in washer and dryer because that's going to destroy it so I'm putting in this design plastic but I should just use a plate that would be much better to use a plate So you need to put one seed at a time and this is something you need to really be patient and do it and that's why this calms the brain because there's something you have to sit and be patient and do it these are really great for the people with uh, stress and anxiety disorder it's the people with uh, depression or anxiety so this really calms the mind down now before sleeping you can do this and that way you will sleep great through the night because your mind will be really calm after all this decoration it's going to take three hours for this to dry because this has a lot of paint and sequin and beads so it will take little time and at this time you can put soft music and through the music you can just meditate while doing or you can just listen to your favorite music any kind this makes it easy to do this big project almost done a few more beads to go and when it's wet it doesn't look so good but when it's dry it looks very very beautiful while picking up the bead might put some paint in this 
fabric so you have to be careful while picking up the beads so best thing to do have a plate and put all your beads in a plate and then do it So we're done, just gonna let it dry. Thank you so much for being with me today. And this is an awesome creation. You might need a little bit more beads, I think. So I'm just going to put a few more beads that I need. Oh, I think I dropped too many beads. I'll just stick some more beads. For each one of them you can put one or two beads because when you dip your tool, two or three beads might get stuck at one place. So thank you so much for being with me this evening. Have a really, really great night. Good night, everybody.